Welcome back to MTN Live in the Mountains. I'm here with Chatty Majoni. She is the program coordinator for Circles of the High Country. How are you today? I'm doing well, Brittany. Thank you for being here. Thanks for having and, me. And um, Chatty is actually one of my really, really good friends, and I just wanted everybody to know it because she's so wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> um, but she's here to talk about um, an upcoming silent auction event to support Circles of the High Country. Um, but first, before we get into detail, tell us a little bit what Circles is. So Circles is a self-sufficiency program for people that are living in poverty, mostly generational poverty, but they're working hard to try to do it on their own, to get off of government assistance, to have a job, to have a home, a place to live. Um, and people always need that extra push. Um, and so they come into Circles and we work with them for about 16 weeks um, through a program called Getting Ahead in a Just Getting By World. Um, they learn about goal setting, time management, um, cultural differences between economic classes. And then when they graduate that, we pair them with mentors from the upper classes of our own community that kind of befriend them and help them to achieve their goals, hold them accountable, and kind of feed them the ropes and help them network with other people. Sounds like a wonderful program because, um, I mean, really and truly to do anything I think it's great to have support in, in anything that you do um, so to provide that for people who really really need it is absolutely amazing so um, and you guys do a lot of poverty summits as well or you guys just had one so right. tell us a little bit about those well last Saturday we were in Avery County um, circles is getting ready to start work in Avery County and we held a countywide poverty summit so we did a poverty simulation in the morning where we put people kind of through the ringer of what life in poverty feels like for an hour and by the end they're all kind of like oh my goodness please let this be over um, and then we had a panel over lunch with the different service agencies that are providing for people in poverty in Avery County and then we end with a bridges out of poverty workshop which kind of helps give people a new perspective on pop poverty, what it's like, how do people get stuck in this cycle, why do people in poverty react to situations the way that they do. Um, and it's great because after going through the poverty simulation, people are much more open-minded about, wow, that I understand how that happens now. So not only do you guys <clears throat> help people who are living in poverty, you also help educate the community about poverty issues, which I think is really important to really understand the need um, and to really understand where you might can come in and help um, and be a part of circles or whatever it, whatever you whatever you may well like to do. But um, I think it's good to, to educate the community as well. So and you guys are doing right. a great job doing that. Um, so tell us about a full circle. What is that? What is this event? So a full circle is our first fundraiser for Circles of the High Country. Um, we've been working for almost two years now, so we thought it was time to start raising some funds. And what that is, is a silent auction event. But instead of auctioning goods, we're auctioning services because Circles really operates on that whole mentality that everyone has something to bring to the table. You're a problem solver or you're an artist or you have some skill to offer to your community. And so we went to a lot of different service providers and community members and said, hey, what services can you offer to your community and can we auction those off? And so we have some really great things that will make wonderful gifts or just Buy it for yourself right. so you don't have to clean your house, right? right. <laughs> it's a really, really very great and unique idea because a lot of times it's, it, you know, people want to auction off things like a shirt or some shoes or something like that. But it's really cool to, uh, to be able to put people's name out there like, mm -hmm. hey, you're really good at this and you can do this, you know, for a living. So that really opens up a lot of job opportunities too and could right. lead to more. Um, so what a great way is and full, a full circle is such a perfect name because not only is the person auctioning for a great cause and pay, that money goes to a great cause, but it comes back to the person who's doing the service because, I mean, some of the things that you guys have is awesome. So people are going to continue to come back for sure. Right. Um, so everybody wins. And those are my favorite kind of fundraisers. <laughs> <laughs> well, and one of the reasons that we came up with the service auction is because a lot of the folks that we work with, um, they're talented. They have gifts. They have things to offer. Um, just because they're struggling financially or struggling to find stability doesn't mean that they have to sit back and just watch. And so we were able to offer them the opportunity 
opportunity to donate something to the auction. So if they're, you know, working on detailing cars or handyman jobs or whatever that is, they were able to bring that to the table and say, hey, I want to give back to the program that's helping me break this cycle. That is fantastic. Um, so tell us some of the things that we can auction on. Wonderful. Well, we've got... Um, one of my favorites um, is that the ASU sports teams, we've got women's basketball, men's basketball, football, and softball are all, all donating services. So a couple of those teams are going to do your honey-do list in the spring. So go <laughs> ahead and start thinking you've got to clean out your gutters, mow your lawn, trim your hedges. Why not have the football team do that? Right. Right? Um, we've also got some house cleaning, we've got horseback riding lessons, art lessons, um, we've got tattoos from Speakeasy Tattoo, which is pretty cool, um, and really just tons of things that people can, from anywhere can find something that they want or that they want to put under the tree. That is fantastic. What a great idea to have the, I mean, who doesn't want the football team to come work in your yard? I know, right? <laughs> Where can I sign up to be a part of that so I can watch? No, I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, but no, that sounds like a really great idea. Um, and c congratulations for coming up with a really cool fundraiser. Um, so tell us where we can go to bid on these items. What, how does this work? So the auction is going to take place at Lost Province Brewing Company. If you've not been there yet, now is the time to go. And it's going to be tomorrow night from 5.30 to 7.30. Um, it's two for 25 night there, so you can get a salad, pizza, and two beers for $25. So, you know, it's not going to cost you that much to right. take your wife out on a date. Um, and then we're going to auction from 5.30 to 7.30, and we'll announce the winners at 7.30, and you can take your gifts home. Great, and uh, the, there's going to be a lot of music. There is, right. You set that up for us. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys remember, we had Red Leg Husky on the show a couple of weeks back, and um, they're going to be there performing um, at the event. So this is great um, for them as well. We such good music. Come by and check out some more of their songs and um, their local artists, and it's going to be fun. It's going to be a huge event, I think. And right. um we're also going to have some door prizes and some raffles, so if you don't find anything that you want to auction, you can still show up, buy a raffle ticket, and maybe take something home with you anyway. Right, and I'm in charge of raffling, so that's exciting. I'm excited <laughs> to do that. If you have any questions, you can find us on Facebook. Just go look for High Country Circles um, or our website. And we look forward to seeing everybody out there yeah, for sure. Absolutely. So the event is December 2nd, um, which is tomorrow, at Lost Province Brewing Company, and that's on 130 North Depot Street. So it's in downtown. Um, and so it's on, and it's on a Tuesday, so that's right. actually Giving Tuesday. It is. It's Giving Tuesday. So normally that's the time when you're trying to get in your charity money just before the end of the year, you know, before you spend it all on Christmas <laughs> presents. Um, and so it's a great way to give back to the community at the same time as being able to get something for yourself or for somebody else on your list. All right. Wonderful. So what if people are interested in getting involved in circles? Um, can they just go online, maybe contact you? Yeah, definitely. If you go to our website, which I think you guys have, um, you can fill out an information form. It'll tell you all about becoming an ally or a circle leader, how to get involved. And there are contact forms for all of those things. And I'd be glad to get in touch with anyone who wants to be a part of it. Wonderful. Well, Chatty, thank you so much for being here. Um, be sure to check out the silent auction event December 2nd um, and come by and um, learn about circles, learn about the issues in our community, and pick up some really cool Christmas gifts. <laughs> All right, we'll be right back after this.